Look what I got. I got this in the mail like almost a month ago, three weeks ago, and I've just been too busy. I haven't been able to open it. I still haven't opened it. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna open the new XFX Ace of Tone right here. This is an unboxing. We'll plug it in, hear how it sounds. I've never played through this, so I don't even know how this could be. This could be junk. It could be junk. It's probably not though. And a lot of you have requested to see this. I reached out, they sent it to me. I'm in no way paid by them, but they did send me this for free. And of course, I'm eventually gonna give this away. I give away everything that I, I don't need. I like being generous on this channel and you guys are the best. So make sure you subscribe, be on the lookout because this will be a part of some giveaway in the very near future. Let's dig in. All right, let's open this thing. We got the top down shot, Ace of Tone. We can see on the box, it is a dual overdrive. Oh, white pedals. I love white pedals just because they look so good on camera. We have the pedal here. We'll look at that in a second. And we have the owner's manual. This can come in handy. Make sure you read the owner's manual. We have two classic overdrive circuits in one compact enclosure. So on this side, we have the uh, what they are calling the tube man, which is like a tube screamer. And on this side, the other side, we have what they're calling the morning star, which is like the morning glory, probably. So. Blues breaker on this side and tube screamer on this side. That's pretty cool. We have the same knobs on all of them. We have a drive, tone, and level for both sides. Then we have switches that turn them on, but if you hold them, this side uh, will be, it'll have like a fat boost, and on this side it has like a shine, which I think are some uh, upper frequency boosts. This is more like a mid boost, and this is a top end boost. This little toggle switch right here actually has nothing to do with those lights. That just tells you what order the pedals are in. So you can quickly, um, this direction put the tube screamer first or this direction put the morning star first. On the back here we have our regular input and then we have this little switch that toggles between a buffered signal and true bypass, which is pretty cool. Um, buffered if you have like a lot of pedals and you need a buffer, there you go, true bypass if you want that sort of thing. Um, you can also have nine volt and 18 volt um, what it does, there's a doubler inside that can give you a little bit more range of sound. That does not mean you need to send 18 volts to it. It just takes the nine volts and doubles it to 18. Uh, you have your output and then an external foot switch, regular nine volt power supply. Takes 100 milliamps. Yeah, there we go. Let's plug it in and see how it sounds. All right, so I have a jazz chorus, really clean amp preset pulled up. It's actually from my Expanse pack. If you don't know what that is, it's for the HX Stomp, HX Stomp XL, HX Effects, Helix. It's all in the link in the description. You can go click on it and read about it. But what it is, it's a collection of presets, ever growing collection of presets. I keep adding to, you pay once, you get updates for free for life, go read it. If you wanna support the channel, go buy it. That'd be cool. But here is the sound, clean tone of the amp. Let's make sure we don't have any other effects on. This is just the amp. Here we go. I love that amp, it's so good. And it's one in the HX Stomp that like, this is not an HX Stomp video, I'm sorry. But it uses less DSP. Anyways, to the Ace of Tone, this is why we're here. I just set everything pretty much at noon. I pulled the level back a little bit in case it gets loud. Uh, tones are at noon, drives are at noon. Let's hear what we got on the, uh, the Tube Man side, the Tube Screamer side. Need more level. A lot of drive, let's pull the drive down. That's a lot of drive. I mean, that's the drive all the way off. But I'm not complaining, it sounds good. I mean, it just took that clean jazz chorus amp. It makes it to a roaring, you can hear the tubes just. I mean, that sounds good. Let's check the other side. Feels a bit more muffled. Uh, 
I can pull pretty much pull the tone all the way up. It doesn't sound like it. Sounds pretty good though. Yeah, I love the way that sounds. So the drives are not close. This is still a lot more overdriven and the drive is all the way down. So let's um let's mess with the drive all the way down on this side. That's a really usable tone. So let's uh, let's pull back the drive a little bit. All right, let's stack them and see uh, what we got. This side is gonna be the tube man first. curiosity let's just switch the order see what that does I think I like having the uh, the morning star first. It feels like it's more of an open sound, and that's because we don't have the high gain pouring into the boost. We have the boost pouring into the high gain. Uh, the the gain of the tube man is not being squashed by the boost, so it just has a more open sound rather than a more compressed sound. <laughs> Very cool. Let's just stay on the morning star, the morning star side, and play with these boosts here. If you hold each one down a second, you can either get a fat boost or a shine. So here's our clean tone. Definitely the on this circuit the shine is more noticeable a lot of a lot of trouble oh yeah you can do both at the same time i guess uh, that shine though seems to, to overpower i was trying to look in the manual because i can't really tell if if the fat boost is only for uh, the tube man side and the shine is only for the morning morning star side, I hear a, an audible click when I do it, but I don't know that I'm actually hearing a difference. So I'm gonna put the tube screamer side back on and click the shine boost, which is on the right side, and see if you actually hear something. <laughs> I hear, I hear a click, but I don't know that I hear that much difference. I thought I did, but now I'm wondering if that's just because my brain knew that the light came on. I don't know. Let's, let's flip flop, do this side, and do the fat boost. I, 
I don't think I hear an audible difference. I think it's just clicking and the lights on, so my brain thought it was doing something. I think the fat boost is only for this side and the shine is only for that side, which makes sense because it's the side they're on. And you can click them both on because you can turn them both on because you can turn both sides on. That makes sense. That makes sense, Jimmy. Yes. Anyways, let's uh, let's pull up a less clean amp because this was a clean amp. We saw how it responded. This is the matchstick preset from my expanse pack. It's like a matchless DC30. So a lot more gain already. So let's hear. Still a lot of gain on that side. Let's try the other one. clean amp. You have to have a little bit of gain on the uh, Morningstar side for it to, to brighten up a bit. Unboxing, first impressions, let me know down in the comments what you think. I kind of like it. I, there's nothing wrong with this pedal at all. It sounds really good. Um, I think the only thing that was unique was that the Morningstar side was very uh, muffled. You have to use the tone pretty much up all the way to get it to be just as clean as the amps were or as, as present as the amps were. But once you dialed in the tone, it, it sounded fantastic. 
Uh, I could definitely see using this. I will probably be using this live just so I can see how it reacts in a live situation. I'll probably do a shootout with some other overdrives very soon with this thing, uh, just so you can see how it stands up. Maybe, I don't know, let me know if that'd be something that would interest you down in the comments. Uh, and also, like I said, I'm gonna be giving this away at some point. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got a lot of other cool things coming. So like I said, make sure you're subscribed. If there's something I didn't cover that you'd like to see, let me know. Um, for those of you who may know, who are interested in the HX Stomp Helix world of things, I'm working on a course. I'm excited about it. I've been working on it, writing the script right now. And so if you want to have input on this course as I'm making it, I have a free preset I wanna give to you in exchange for a quick seven question survey that would help me out a lot to let me know exactly what things I need to include in this course. My camera just cut off, but I was gonna say, in the course, one of the things that's been the toughest is that it's hard for me to know exactly what to include, what not to include. So if you could help me with that, let me know. Click the link in the description to download that free preset. I really appreciate it. I think that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.